Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java exception handling best practices. Never swallow the exception in cache block. Here you can see the cache block. Here we are catching no such method exception and returning null. Instead of handling or rethrowing the exception, we are returning null. So it totally swallows the exception. So because of swallowing the exception, we don't know why the exception has occurred. So if you don't know the reason of uh, why the exception is occurred, we cannot prevent it in future. So never do this. Declare the specific checked exceptions that your method can throw. Here you can see the method foo which throws a super class exception which is uh, incorrect way. The correct way is uh, method foo throws specific exceptions. If there are uh, too many specific exceptions, then it should be separated with comma. Do not catch the exception class, rather catch uh, specific subclasses. Here in try block, we are calling uh, some method and catching the exception. So this is uh, not correct. We have to catch specific uh, subclasses. The problem with catching exception is that if the method you are calling later adds a new checked exception to its method signature, the developer's intent is that you should handle the specific new exception. If your code just catches the exception, you will never know about the change and the fact that your code is now wrong and might break at any point of time in runtime. Never catch a throwable class because Java errors are also subclasses of the throwable class. Errors are irreversible condition that cannot be handled by JVM itself. Always uh, correctly wrap the exceptions in custom exceptions so that uh, stack trace is not lost. Here uh, my service exception is the custom exception and uh, this is the incorrect way of uh, wrapping the exception because uh, we are only adding the message of the exception. So in this way we will lose uh, stack trace of the original exception. And uh, here uh, my service exception is the user defined exception or custom exception and we are wrapping the no such method exception. This is the correct way of uh, wrapping the exception because uh, we are passing the no such method exception object. In this way we won't lose the stack trace of the original exception. And uh, this is about uh, Java exception handling best practices and uh, thanks for watching.